Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Now, as soon as I got back to the hole and jumped down, this happened, so here we are. It's possible to descend to a specific bird statue on the surface if you already visited it, and I've memorized its location. To do this, point to the area you want to descend to and press A. Okay. I want to go to the forest temple, thank you. Descend to this area, yes. One minuscule second. Urgh. Oh, it automatically does the sailcloth. Okay. Well, then what the hell's the point of me doing it at all? Oh, well. I had to, uh... I had to, um... Like, move a, uh, cord. That I forget- That I did not notice was in front of my computer. Nonetheless, this door is sealed shut. Okay. Then, how do we get in? I am in the right place, right? This is the, yeah, this is the forest. Wait, what's this? It's another box! Time to skyward strike it. Yay, cube! That doesn't really look like a cube unless it's like half into the ground. But hey, whatever. You know, not gonna, not gonna complain. Okay, what do you want me to do? Um, advice. Hint, I guess, of how to open up this door. Now, the deep woods, Deku Hornet hives are common. Suitable bug catching tool, your chances of avoiding harm increased by 75%. Gee, thanks. Okay. Uh, that was useful. Do I have to, like, skyward strike this door? Skyward striking seems to be like the only thing I can do. Nope. Alright then. There's more of these fences that look very out of place in the Zelda game. Oh, speaking of which, I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, the official Zelda timeline came out. Yeah, they, they finally officially released a timeline. And, uh, you know, it's okay. I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's everything I ever dreamed of. But, yeah, it was fine. Stop. Run. Oh, that was a dumb idea. Oh, those were bees. Okay. <laughs> I thought those were beehives. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Up here? Um, okay, push it. Thank you. How do I get in this door? It doesn't really tell me. Oh, I see. I see you up there. Trying to make me look dumb in front of my viewers. As if they already don't know that already. That's weird. There are mushrooms in inside this temple. I guess they're really going all out on the, uh, this is a foresty area temple. Skyview Temple. Skyview? This is a forest themed temple. Wouldn't it be like Woodview? Whatever. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate through this temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see what we should move next. Okay. AKA, it's a temple. Play it. What is this? That's a bird statue? Oh, that that's not a bird statue, that's like a... I don't even know what kind of statue that is. Oh, you can instantly go outside, so it's like, uh... 
Ferrars Rend. That's cool. Die, mushrooms! Oh, I killed the keys. Get out of me. There we go. Jeez, I've been... I was slicing forever. These are weird trees. Why do these even exist in here? There's no light. I mean, I know that can happen, but... I don't think I've ever seen trees like that. Come on. There we go, motion controls. Thank you for cooperating. Now, ever since uh, starting this LP, like a little while ago, actually, it's been kind of a while, I saw Yahtzee's uh, video on it. You guys know who Yahtzee is. Yahtzee is a, um, damn it. Yahtzee is a video game quote unquote reviewer. And I'd use the term loosely. This guy's going to hit me as soon as I come up. Yep. Which means I'm going to need to smack him before he can do that. And get up there as quickly as possible. I use the term loosely because, quite frankly, the, he only does it for humor's sake. These are weird uh, crystal switches. Whatever. He reviewed Zelda, and he gave it the same negative review that he gives every single thing he reviews. But, uh, I'm not sure if I agree with him yet or not. Because most of the time, I do agree with him to some extent. Like, you know, he, he greatly exaggerates everything, but... There's still some truth in what he says. Oh, this... This eye is smart. Okay. How do I get past it? Maybe move forward and it'll open. Nope. Skyward strike it. Nope. No, that's a smart eye. How do I get past it? Magical sentry is a natural tendency to stare at the tip of appointed objects. Then how do I... So? Okay, what do I do with it about that? So what? <laughs> So what? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, so he follows my sword, and then if I put it away, he still follows me. Give me another hint, I'm a horrible video game player. I don't want rumors, I don't know how you know them anyway, you're in my sword. You can expect to encounter many mechanisms designed to keep intruders at bay. When you find yourself unable to continue, press C to look around. It'll certainly help you find your way forward. It will take me a while to compile and calculate any analysis, but I predict an 85% chance you will find my results helpful. Lovely! Let's look around, I guess. And that didn't help at all. I am very, very stuck. So he follows my sword, but I can't use both my sword and my slingshot at the same time. Like, if I could distract him with the sword and then pull out my slingshot, that would be fine. But he's moving, like, way too... Maybe, like, if I... No, that, that doesn't work. He just moves perfectly fine. He doesn't get confused or dizzy or anything. 
Yeah, okay, I got the idea. Hello, what the hell, that was a weird puzzle. <laughs> okay, I guess my days of playing Super Mario Bros. 64 came in handy. It's a dumb puzzle, though, I will admit. Ow. What do you want? Your heart's it. Yeah, I know. Thank you. You've already told me this. Stop. You're becoming more annoying than Navi. And I and I like Navi. So what does that say? I mean, I know my let's play didn't make it seem like I did, but still. I guess we need to climb up there. I'm running dangerously low on Deku nuts. I don't have enough nuts, guys. Stop moving. Stop moving. Thank you. Alright, let's see what's up here. <laughs> Mushroom in my way. And is there anything in here? Hey, I can. Okay. I can break this. Wait, didn't I just come from here? Oh, wait. Oh, no. This is this is the very beginning of the dungeon. Okay. I see. It's a shortcut. Hello. What are you? Oh, you're just a green Boko Blin. Enjoys dark places such as caves. Its sunlight deficient lifestyles turn to skin stomach turning shades of green. That doesn't happen because then I would be green, nonetheless. Unlike its red brethren, it ex exhibits a fascination with festive undergarments. You have defeated zero. Okay. One one of Yahtzee's complaints about uh about the uh, game is that every single one of its like enemies has some kind of ability like involve or to block involving its um involving the Wii motion controls which I will admit is already getting a little bit annoying cuz killing one Boko Blin taking like an hour isn't a good idea cuz he keeps blocking and there's a little bit of a delay so when I try to attack then he'll Switch, because there's a bit of a delay, and it's difficult. I mean, it's not difficult. He doesn't hit me, I just keep slashing at him. But he keeps blocking, it's just annoying, more than anything. Nonetheless, I'm running dangerously low on a... Come on. I'm running dangerously low, get out of there, on Deku Nuts. And those... Oh, God. You know, you could have warned me way earlier. Oh, god damn it. What do you want? Oh, we got now you don't want to talk to me? Okay, fine. Suck it, lady. Let me drink my potion. There we go. Someone give me some nuts. I need nuts. Can I hit you from up there? Using my Skyward Strike. Oh, well, I can do that. Yeah! Okay, now I'll apparently have to talk to you about every single weapon. I'm Not weapons. Every single enemy possible. What do you have to say about this guy? Targetable objects and you... What? I, I focused on this dude. Tell me about him. Shut up. Skulatola! Giant species of spider inhibits the deepest areas of forest. It attacks with highly adhesive webbing in order to prevent its prey from escaping. It has a tough outer carapace, but its stomach may be vulnerable to attack. Currently conducting additional analysis in its movement patterns. Okay, I like how they looked before, he just looks comical. Yeah, this is annoying. 
Another enemy that involves motion control. In some form of fashion. In that, like, I have to deal with his physics. Will you turn around like a good normal Skeletolo, or will you just be a dick? And block my path and do nothing. It looks like you're just going to be a dick who wants to block my path and do nothing. What the hell? What are you doing? Stop it. Just, just stop it. How did I get you to sp there we go. I got you to spin before and now it won't freaking hit. Do I have to like thrust? It's like a singular spot on God damn it. These skeletons are freaking annoying. Thank you. I di I know I know how to hit it. There we go. Jesus Christ. Give me a heart. No, not a rupee. <sighs> Whatever. I finally got that freaking thing, and if I never have to see another one, I'll be happy. He wasted like a billion hearts. Or two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, one below. Wait, what? Jump sensor. One is above, one below. Okay. So you're telling me killing that Skeletolo was entirely useless and I just wasted a potion. Lovely. These webs are annoying. I'm starting to get kind of annoyed by this game. That's not good. One is above, one is below. I'm guessing it means this door. Let me look above. Nothing. I'm guessing that might be the one over there that I shot. One is below, I'm guessing down here. That's a rupee. Okay, I really need some Deku seeds. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got it. That was a dumb puzzle. I didn't even know you need to go in that room. <sighs> Whatever. I probably could have figured that out easily without the freaking hint involving me losing most of my life. Oh boy, another Boca Blend. Oh boy, another Skeletola. Yeah, I got it in the pattern. Sweet. Give me a heart. God damn it. Now I gotta face this freaking Skeletola. Well, he's on a web this time, which means he won't flip very easily. God damn it. I guess I need to use this. I have no idea how to beat this guy when he's on a web. How fun. Hint. This isn't very fun, as a matter of fact. Oh boy. Do I need, like, the item of this dungeon? Cause this guy ain't flipping, I don't even know how you can flip on a frickin'... You know what? Tell me! Yes, how do I get it to move when it's on a web? Tell me more! That's obvious! Thank you! I definitely didn't know that at all. Very weak. Yeah, I, I know that. You'd think I'd be able to slash at the uh, frickin' web. 
but nope. No, he just keeps killing my, killing my ass. Okay, I'm out of here. Enjoy, enjoy being a dick, Skeletola. Enjoy being a dick. I'm, I'm sure you're enjoying it heartedly. Continue onwards. I need a key. There's a bird statue. I can't do anything up here. Which means I have to somehow learn how to kill that Skeletola. That's fun. Ah, <laughs> oh, hell. You know what? We're at 20 minutes. I'm just going to end the video here. And look up how to kill this thing. Because uh, I apparently need to do that. That's not good. It's not good when it's not very obvious to kill something. That's another thing I don't like about com motion controls. It just can be very annoying to kill things sometimes. That's the biggest thing. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. See you all then. Hopefully I will not be as pissed off. Later.